one less thing to worry about helps keep other people safe and myself safe as well. UNC Charlotte freshman Melissa Zelznick is one of the thousands on campus who rolled up their sleeves for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. The J&J &J shot has been given on campuses specifically because there's no second dose. So no worry about getting students back on campus after the semester ends. But tonight, administration is on pause, so officials can investigate blood clots reported in six people. What specifically happens to them medically and how does it impact their health? So if, if the clot forms in the vein in the brain, um, blood cells can open and can leak out and cause a hemorrhage, which can cause a stroke. Across the Charlotte area, 2,400 students, faculty, and staff received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine at UNCC's two clinics. 6,000 people got the vaccine at the clinic last month at Johnson C. Smith University. And 400 members of Johnson & Wales campus community received the J&J &J shot. Officials say people who received the J&J &J vaccine and experienced severe headache, abdominal pain, leg pain, or shortness of breath within three weeks after receiving the shot should call their doctor. I think it's important to be cautious, uh, but I don't think people need to be fearing that they're going to, you know, have these sudden neurologic symptoms. Zelznick doesn't regret getting it. But you're not worried about the blood clot concern? I'm not, no.